you really have to rely on your network to find a really good partner and a connection. And it, it may, for us at Pura, it may not be a VC, but I think we can dispel the old belief that that was always such a bad thing, that that was a bad partnership, when in reality, they come just as this article was saying, you know, it comes with a network and a connection and experience that it will plug you into places you're probably not thinking of taking your business. Richard? It's, it's uh, I think it's an area, Mark, that you or I probably got no experience with as well. So it, it's uh, really interesting to hear Jennifer's take on this. I mean, I, I was when I was reading the article, and I'm trying to sort of get it with a clear head. And my first thing was, you know, what 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 is it, and what does it do, and and what is it investing in, and what level of security of these sports people got? That's that's how I read the article. Yeah, and I agree. You know, Jennifer saying about the, the the lack of financial education in the sports industry. You know, I've sat there many times, and and you see footballers earning you know two hundred and fifty thousand quid a week, and and then and then they they retire at thirty five years of age, and they're broke. It's like how did that happen?